What's up guys, Eric here, and I know it's Comic-Con weekend, but it is Saturday, and that means we have a fan battle royale to do, so here we go. So this past week, I asked you guys to choose between White Canary and Firestorm. I knew this was going to be a tough battle, but before I tell you guys the winner, I do want to discuss the fact that a few people in the comment section asked me, hey Eric, I went back and looked at your first video, and it's supposed to be White Canary versus Black Canary. That's true. That was the original fan battle, but I felt like every other battle was between two characters on one show. So this one felt a little strange to me with White Canary versus Black Canary. I know it's an iconic battle, but I wanted to keep it all contained to Legends. And that's really the simple answer. I just wanted it to be Legends of Tomorrow characters. So I went with White Canary and Firestorm. No real drama, no controversy. That's just why I changed it up. But either way, I knew that this battle was going to be tough because... You know, these two characters are both loved for their own reasons, so I don't think we're going to make the majority of people happy uh, with whoever wins this one. And this one was really close. There was like less than 15% difference between the winner and the loser of this battle, but the winner is Firestorm. You guys chose Firestorm, and the winning story is... Bob Guy. Let's read his story. Sarah and Firestorm get into a fight as to whether or not they should keep a relic they found to help them advance further or to keep it in the timeline to stop abnormalities from appearing in the timeline. On their way to the ship, the argument gets heated and Sarah flips Firestorm over with her bow staff and a swift leg hit as to say, the conversation's over. I do what I want. Firestorm gets up angrily and lunges towards Sarah. Sarah almost manages to evade Firestorm, but he grabs her by the foot and bright lights flash from the origin of the torch. Sarah asks what he did in an outraged tone. Firestorm simply responded with, I transmuted your plot armor? Firestorm snaps and a non-lethal ball of energy rushes towards Sarah, knocking her out passive. Firestorm then proceeds to laugh as he carries Sarah into the ship. Although this story wasn't exactly what I expected or what I wanted, Bob Guy, it was humorous, it was funny, and I felt like it fit in with the narrative we get on Legends where they don't take things too seriously. So I decided that yours was the winner. I really enjoyed it. Thank you so much for taking part in the comments section and writing a story because not everybody does and you did and I thought it was really good and you got a bunch of thumbs up. So, hey. But enough with the heroes, this week we are heading back to the villains bracket to finish out their first round, and we have Prometheus versus Vandal Savage. Here's the setup. So we have Prometheus, aka Adrian Chase, aka Simon Morrison, who has access to everything that we saw him use on season 5 of Arrow. This includes his mastery of weapons, his skills learned from Talia al Ghul and his methodical way of planning. And this could come to an advantage for him in this battle. And then we have the immortal Vandal Savage. This is the Vandal Savage that we knew before he was killed off on Legends. So there is no weird reincarnation or any anything like that. This is just one of the versions in the timeline. And he's time traveled to 2016 in search of a weapon that contains the radiation from the meteorite that granted him his powers in the first place. This object has the power to seriously harm him and in the right hands could kill him. Now Vandal Savage has all the same skills and abilities we saw him use between his first appearance and the the crossover episodes and in Legends of Tomorrow season one. So keep all of that in mind when they're fighting. The situation is this Prometheus has found a new weapon, a katana forged with the remains of a meteorite comprised of the same energy and materials that gave Vandal Savage his powers. He wants Vandal's immortality and is looking to find a way to make it happen with the help of this blade. However, if Hawkman or Hawk Girl get this blade, they could kill Vandal Savage. So Savage wants it back. And this is a fight to the death for Prometheus. It would be permanent. For Savage, he could only be seriously wounded by this weapon, uh, enough for Prometheus to escape and fight another day. Either way, neither of them will be holding back. The setting of this is the docks of Star City, out of sight of everyone else other than these two villains, so get very creative when they face off against each other. So there you have it, all the info you need to determine the winner of this battle. And once you've decided who you want to win, I want you to click up in the corner, select your winner, and then go down in the comments and tell us who you voted for and why. And if you're feeling extra creative, leave a little short story down there. I may pick your story to read in next week's Fan Battle Royale. 
And if you don't feel like writing a story, that's okay. Just thumbs up the ones you do like so they'll come to the top of the list and make it easier for everybody else to see, make it easier for me to see, and to determine a winner. Now, I mentioned Comic-Con at the beginning of this video. This weekend is San Diego Comic-Con. If you didn't know, I've been making a few videos about it. But tonight is a very special event if you're watching this on Saturday. I'm going to be live streaming for a few hours tonight while we get info and updates on all of our favorite CW uh, DC TV shows. So if you are interested in joining me, make sure you hit the notification bell or come back later this evening where I'm going to be live streaming with the chat room here. We're going to be going through news, updates, pictures, maybe trailers, any information we get. If we can find a panel to watch, that will be a lot of fun. I'm going to watch it with you guys together here on my channel for several hours tonight. So make sure you hit the notification bell or subscribe and come back and check us out later. Anyway, guys, that's all I got for you today. There's a lot of stuff coming up later tonight, so I got to get ready. I got to get prepared. I'm so excited. We're probably going to get some big information about our favorite shows. So join me then. But that's all I got for you guys today. Take care. Have a great day. Have a great weekend. And I will see you tonight.